What's up guys, welcome back to Triple back to another video. And in today's video, we are working on the 328 E92. And uh, you guys saw we got the finally the new carpets in there. It is looking absolutely gorgeous. It smells so good in here. Definitely better compared to the moldy smell I had before with the other carpets. And uh, honestly, there wasn't even that much water. It was just the carpets are super moldy and gross. So thankfully, we got those replaced. And yes, guys, since this is the next day, I still have the seats. If any of you guys want some sport interior for the E92, 200 bucks, you come get all this good stuff. This is the color we went with, guys. Beautiful, beautiful beige. It's not really considered a beige. It's actually considered bamboo. So for the E92 M3, um, they came with, uh, I believe, bamboo. They didn't actually have a beige option. And this bamboo, guys, has this black accents from the top, from the bottom, so it's not completely beige, so it actually looks really, really, really good, and it's super high quality in terms of material. So yeah, guys, we went with the full M3 bamboo interior. It's gonna look so, so, so good. It definitely needs a lot of cleaning. That's something that we're gonna have to get done. I'm probably gonna do it once we actually get it installed into the car. Probably a lot easier to scrub when things are not actually moving around. We got the M3 M wrist, which is super cool. I always love these M3 M rest. Super clean in here as well, so that is a huge plus. And then obviously, not to mention, we got all the door panels, the rear seats, literally everything we need to fully complete this interior. Now, in terms of the trim for all these doors, um, I'm probably gonna have to cop them later today or tomorrow. We're still waiting. I actually have all the door pieces, but I don't actually have the dash one, so I wanna put all that together. I'm probably gonna do it at the same time we actually get the steering wheel as well, because we're doing the M3 conversion for the steering wheel as well, so. And not to mention, guys, like I said in the last video, this car didn't actually come with tweeters. I got these off of eBay. Um, so bada bing bada bang, we're actually gonna have more speakers in this car, which is a huge plus. Now before I actually throw in the two front seats because that's the most important thing, um, the first thing we actually gonna have to do is install the center console and the rear center console, and then actually throw in the, the rear door panels, then the rear seats. We kinda have to work our way from the back to the front, but we have to put in those two things first. So without further ado, let's go ahead, get the center console, the front and back inside the car. <laughs> After some time and some time, the center console is finally in. So pretty much all that had to be removed just because of this guy and also, of course, because of the carpets. The carpets tucked in perfectly. Um, it did get a little bit more dirty because I'm getting in and out of the car, but it's still way cleaner than it was. This section back here actually looks kind of dirty and this thing, this little flap right here, it's actually broken. So I might actually look for another one of these. It's actually not as bad as I thought to remove it. So I'm actually gonna probably get another one of these. It's not really a priority. It's for the back seats and honestly, it'll clean up just fine. I'm never really gonna sit in the back as long as it looks kind of good like this as long as that stays open it looks pretty decent but um, knowing myself I'm a perfectionist I'm probably gonna end up uh, replacing that but any hoozles <laughs> now that we got all this stuff assembled um, what's to next what's to next um let's work on the rear seats And just like that, guys, check out this interior. <laughs> Definitely need to work on all those crease marks. There's a couple crease marks literally everywhere, but I mean, guys, 
That looks so, so, so good. This has honestly been a dream interior. I love bamboo interior. It's such a unique interior. And I'm happy that it has black accents because if it's all bamboo, I don't think I would have liked it. But uh, this black and bamboo accent everywhere just looks super good. So obviously right now, guys, we're missing the two front door panels and the two seats. So first things first, I want to go in and install those seats, but one of the seatbelt tensioners are blown. So we need to get this one off the driver's one and put it onto our new seats. Honestly, need to be cleaned up, but man, this thing is a tra this thing has just been transformed, guys. I haven't even put on the door panels yet. I I need to put on the door panels like right now. Let, let's do the door panels. And guys, while we have the door panels off, it's time to upgrade the speakers. So again, we didn't have any speakers here. Um, I believe this just literally bolts right on there. Uh, you know, I've actually never done this before, but I can't imagine it being too difficult. I guess you just line that up with the tabs. Press down like that, and that's it. Yeah, that, that's it. So you guys saw this interior guys <laughs> looks so 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 good. It's very subtle uh, Honestly, the carbon fiber is not really fitting this interior like the trim I'm actually going with is a different kind of trim. I never actually went with before. It's actually super rare I've never seen it before either But yeah, at this point I do want to go ahead and just start detailing this interior like look how dirty like everything really is I just really 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 just want to clean up this interior and uh, I'm hoping it'll clean up pretty well I'm hoping that will come out like over here looks a lot better the driver's seat shockingly the passenger seat looks a little more rough So uh, let me just go ahead and try my best <laughs> And after some cleaning, guys, these came out better than expected. They look so, so, so good. Look how shiny that bolster is all of a sudden. This side, I made it a lot better. I couldn't get it to be 100% perfect, but I mean, hey guys, for the money that I got it for, I am so happy with this interior. I actually found these from a local junkyard and they only wanted $700 for these. So all I paid was $750 after tax. And then actually I got that center console for my boys at BMA European. They actually had that center console. So like, what are the odds? They're the only ones on eBay that had it. So when I found the listing on AutoGator, and then I found the listing on BMA, I was like, you know what? 
I'm gonna go ahead and get them both because that's a killer deal. I mean, I paid 100 for the center console, so in total, in total, after tax and everything, 850 for an M3 interior, and I'm probably gonna be able to get like $200 for my black interior because it is sports package, so I do think I can get my money out of that. And then end of the day, these will probably end up being $650 upgrade, which is a killer deal. This interior looks so, so, so good. It truly transformed the interior of this car. I mean, guys, just check that out. That looks crazy and it's way more comfortable. Now, hopefully in the next video, guys, um, we're gonna be doing some more upgrades to this thing. I'm actually gonna head down to Nick's shop right now and I'm probably gonna film the second part of this video later today. So tomorrow, um, we should be putting in a brand new steering wheel, finally gonna be putting in all the matching trim. Again, this trim is so rare. And uh, I honestly have never seen it on any car I've ever purchased. And I've owned a lot of BMWs in my lifetime. I don't think I've seen it on any of my friends' cars either. So it's a very, very, very unique. And honestly, it, it, it's an acquired taste trim. So you guys will see it in the next video. But yeah, hopefully it looks pretty good. I'm going to go cop that right now from BMA European. I'm also going to be getting that steering wheel from BMA European. Um, actually, I technically already got the steering wheel. I'm just going to go back and get the paddles because it um, turns out it's really easy to do the paddle shifting retrofit on this. I'm actually going to be going from uh, the the, the old regular paddles to the DCT paddles. So for those of you guys who have those paddles, if you get a DCT style steering wheel, um, those paddles are instant, like you can just replace it. Like the paddle on the steering wheel, you just directly replace it, it's gonna work upshift to downshift, just like that. Kinda crazy, I mean, this is according to the forms. I guess we'll find out tomorrow, or for me later tonight, for you guys tomorrow. But for those of you guys who don't have paddles whatsoever and want at least these paddles where it's upshift, downshift on each side, or want to retrofit an M3 steering wheel into your car and you have no paddles, not even the sports steering wheel, make sure to check out that link down below. I have a link for custom harnesses on this stuff and it's absolutely insane because paddle shifters are an absolute must for BMW. So if you guys want to do that retrofit, make sure to check out that link down below. But without further ado guys, that's gonna have to conclude the video. If you guys are enjoying the 328 daily build series, make sure to smash the like button. If you guys think honestly, uh, I'm doing a little bit overkill, um, let me know down below. But I think for 650 bucks, end of the day, that is a killer daily interior. Oh my God. I mean, yeah, I pay like 40 bucks for the carpets too, but I mean, guys, the, the carpets was a must. Now the car smells great. It looks great. I can't wait to put in the new trim and the new steering wheel. So I'll see you guys for part two tomorrow morning.